watch our friends nothingwire.com and we have the brand new very interesting Samsung Galaxy camera here. In this part of the review we're going to do an unboxing and show you what's in the box. So let's get started. You can see it's a fairly compact box for a digital camera. It looks more like a high-end smartphone from Samsung but then that's what this guy borders upon. So that's the camera you can see, uh, some quick specs here, 16 MP still. You have a maximum optical zoom of 21x, a 23mm wide zoom lens. Not much here, it's a white color device. You have some pricing and marketing informations there. On the back side you have some more information. This camera has great connectivity options. You have uh, HSPA Plus and Wi-Fi. So transferring and sharing your photos and videos is covered. It has a very cool 1.4 GHz quad-core processor. Uh, we've already told you this. Then that's the 4.3 in super clear LCD screen which covers most of the back side of the camera. It runs on Jelly Bean. Yeah, so without further ado, we're going to quickly go and unbox this device. Let's open it then. Yep. So, okay. So. And that's the gorgeous Samsung Galaxy camera. That's the huge 4.3 uh, inch screen. Uh, we'll come back to the device later. We'll see what's else in the box. So, I pull out. Get. Oh well. I almost made a mess of the box. So you have that uh, the USB wall adapter there the USB data cable goes that's the wrist strap or the lanyard you have some um, documents there quick start guide and I'm sure there'll be a warranty card and then you have the data cable micro USB port so this guy goes in here and doubles as the charger. You have the battery much like the ones you see on a high-end Samsung device 1650 mAh battery Li-ion. Ah, so coming back to the device the first look it looks gorgeous and those should be the SD and uh, battery compartments yeah so that's our first look at the Galaxy camera we'll come back to you with uh, more information on the hardware and software in the later part of our reviews thank you the Galaxy camera is gorgeous and by gorgeous I don't only mean its looks the whole body is made up of metal so you have that much more ruggedness and durability added to the system on top of that this brilliant marble white on metal gives you that particular metallic shine unlike on a smartphone body on the right hand you have this nice textured hole that will prevent the camera from slipping away while operating with one hand so on the front you have the Samsung zoom lens that's the zoom uh, range the aperture range and then it's a 23 mm wide lens you have the autofocus assist button there on top you have the zoom lever the shutter release button the mic the power key and uh, the pop-up flash that can be open from here so on this side you also have the speaker grill there then below you have the tripod mount and then the battery and card compartment so your battery goes here the micro SD card go here the SIM card and then you have a micro HDMI now let's go ahead and quickly insert our uh, battery and cards so that's my micro SIM card it goes in like this yeah. micro SIM card let me first take out the dummy and then insert this guy 
and then the battery goes so plus side plus and plus matches so the battery goes like this in goes the flap and then let's check out the brilliant 4.3 inch super clear LCD so this So you can see the Galaxy camera that's on the model number EKGC100. Brilliant. Very vivid screen as you can see. You can also see it has a very good uh, viewing angle. So even from this side, even from this angle you can actually make out what's written there brilliant so there you go nice clear LCD and it should be a joy to operate so uh, this guy has jelly bean so you can set it up as you would um, your jelly bean smartphone you can download all kinds of apps and uh, other stuff the only thing you cannot do here is making call yeah so that's about the hardware it's although it's on a heavier side but that's mainly due to uh, the whole metal body but then you have a very rugged and durable body that will last for years we'll come to the software interface in the next part of our review. Thank you. Let's go to the user interface now. The Galaxy camera is powered by Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. You can see the model number there, EKGC100. Um, the user interface is not much different from a Jelly Bean powered smartphone. However, uh, the camera menu has features and the user interface is much advanced than you would see um, that on a smartphone. So by default the camera will boot in the camera mode of course there you can see but I'm going to show you the user interface as a whole first there you can see that's the typical jelly bean user interface. You see the home screens there you can add or delete like you would do in any Android smartphones then you have the main app menu you can install any apps like you would do on Jelly Bean from Play Store and uh, Samsung apps and other stuff you can add widgets from here by long pressing on the home screens there you see The only difference you would see here is that the app dock only has the camera button that is sticky. There you can see, you can remove all these, but then there you can see the, uh, the app dock only has um, the camera button. You cannot bring others here. There you go. So let's switch on the camera mode now and there you can see it's distinctly divided into three parts you have the home and the arrow button that will show you the quick settings you have the gallery button there that will show you the gallery there and you have the camera mode controls here so the home button will take you back to the software interface as in the Jelly Bean interface. There you see, press the arrow key and you get to uh, settings. So this will toggle between uh, the default settings of the quick settings out here. There you go. So this is the voice command. Then you have the flash. then uh, you have the self timer video recording uh, mode there you can see uh, full HD at 30 frames per second at the max and then you have the sharing options there like you would see on any jelly bean uh, smartphone 
so this is the camera button the moment you press this it will take a snapshot or you can press the shutter button here this is for the video recording will start recording pause or stop it will show you how much time is left on your storage so while recording you can click up to six snaps they see now the modes just to say <coughs> the modes has uh, three modes that's the auto smart and expert mode so the in auto mode as in auto mode in any camera the camera will take care of most of the things the smart mode has some uh, quick settings so uh, if you're under this particular situation for example you want to click a silhouette or you want to click a nice sunset photo or perhaps a nighttime photo fireworks light trace beauty face continuous short landscape macro action freeze etc you can select any of these and then uh, the camera will automatically adjust all the settings optimum to that particular mode next is the expert mode and you will see a beautiful lens like UI there so here you have the program mode where you can only set um, the exposure scale or the ISO you have the aperture priority mode where you can um, also adjust the uh, aperture and the camera will adjust the shutter speed accordingly and there you can see you cannot edit that you can always edit the ISO and the exposure scale you have the shutter priority mode which is vice versa where you can control the shutter speed and the camera will adjust the aperture accordingly and then you have a full manual mode where you can adjust both and then there you can see that's uh, the semi-automatic mode for the video so in this mode you can pretty much only uh, adjust the exposure scale yeah we'll go back to the mode face there you see Yep, so that's pretty much about it. Thank you.